Hey everyone, it's Finn and Kamen. I'm back for another Paleo Tour. We are at the Bloom Bakery and Cafe with Ashlyn Bloom. How are you doing today? Good. So, uh, did we did we tour this live on stream? Yes. Yeah. I kind of like sprung it on you. Ah, no, it's okay. I mean, I'm uh, ADHD. You got to roll with the punches, right? But right. I didn't get your side of it. And I, I think that's always one of the fun things that I, I like to do is kind of get your side of it. So, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, right. where are we going? <laughs> well, so basically this plot is my communal plot. When I first started playing the game, I knew that I wanted to create a space for my community. Hmm. Um, so the bakery is essentially where we all gather to cook. I have created like a courtyard out here for the cafe and I use this opportunity to make a cute space for a photo op. Ah, photo op, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wanted it to be like fun for everybody. Lots That's of cool. seating. Mm -hmm. And um, so then I made the cafe. So because one of, you can have... One of the things that, that's... Uh, I guess it's unique about your stuff in particular. I mean, there's there's lots of things, but one of the first things is like you have a brand, like with your whole thing, you're, you know, <laughs> yeah. Bloom Incorporated. It's, it's very themed, which initially I don't think I was intending to do that, but it just kind of happened. It's a household name. Yes, everything just kind of fell into place everything from the colors to the entire plot and the whole idea of everything so i remember on stream you know we talked about uh this this cafe concept and i i really really like how you have everything laid out and seating and colors choppas yeah i wanted it to be just super warm and cozy and i chose the green and pink because um, I felt like the colors were really calming. Mm. Um, and I wanted it to kind of feel like it could be a real space. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that it's, it's very, very important. And it, I miss the little touches here. Mm -hmm. When you're <laughs> when you're live, you, you kind of <laughs> you don't really have a lot of time to stop and smell the roses. You got chat coming at you. And, oh. Yeah. But yeah, this is really, really well executed how you mm -hmm. chose all the colors and, and like i said i mean the best part about this is just you get to explain why you chose the the things that you chose and the fact that you touched on the fact uh, the fact that you chose those colors because they were calming that's cool that's a good note yeah mm -hmm. and then well i wanted everyone to feel like at home when they came here oh, like yeah. it was just very comforting nice space that made people feel good. So then we've got like the little cafe. I kind of use that shelf to look like a little flappy. Um, I got you. That's cool. Little, like the little door thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like uh, the the little lift up shelf yeah. thing that you would have at a <laughs> diner. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. That's a nice, nice little touch. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You got displays. Yes, little drink ice cream area, ice cream fridge. So you definitely got the whole cafe thing going, and uh, that's really cool. Yeah, I tried my best with what I had to work with, especially given the the limit that we had previously for items. Previously on Paleo. Yes. Um, so what, and then, what are you going to do with a thousand extra things to put down? So I haven't really decided yet. I do have some space on the far right side of the plot that is open and has not been touched yet. But I was thinking that I would start with just adding more finer detail inside and outside of the house. Yeah, it's, that's... First. It makes sense because a lot of what people have done previously is they would use that for smaller objects like candles and everything and uh, mm -hmm. when they would have to they'd have to sacrifice a candle for 
for designs. Yes. Which is and that is always sad. It's tragic. Because we need our candles. <laughs> but I do um, like the way that you have everything uh, dressed up for this this kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen designs was, have been really fascinating for me during the tours, how people uh, organize them. I love seeing what everybody does and how they put their own unique spin on it. And I was always super against having a cake kitchen. So when I did make my cake kitchen, I didn't want it to look like it was a basic cake party kitchen. Right. I wanted it to feel like a lived in, like functional kitchen. So I figured that since it's a bakery, a big kitchen was fine. But the way that you have the uh, the countertops and everything, uh, it's not just hard edges. There's a lot of curvature mm -hmm. here and that's, yeah. that's what makes it interesting. Yeah, I try really hard to mix and match too. Oh yeah. There's there's matchy matchy and then there's mixy matchy as my wife would say. Yes, I love I love mixy matchy. A good mixy matchy is always nice. So on a scale of clean core to clutter core, where would you fall? Uh, I would say that this house is probably more clean core than anything because it's so big. Mm -hmm. um, but personally, I prefer more smaller spaces and then I get really crazy with the clutter. So because this is more of a community house, you wanted to keep it open. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to feel like a very like grand like space for everyone to come where there's room for everyone right because if it was too small then you'd feel like you'd knock something over <laughs> yeah exactly but i do have private areas for myself here like the little study for bugs because i love insects so this is this is really cool because like you what has been interesting for me just going on these different tours is the design languages of people and how what you were doing outside of the space is more of a different design dialect. Whereas with this one is more, you can tell that this is more you, like you're getting yeah. more into your element here with the, mm -hmm. the finer details and stuff. Whereas like in the outside area, it's more spacious and approachable. Yeah, I feel like it's more catered to like the community as a whole and like this is my personal area. Yeah, this is cool. It's only a matter of time before they get the uh, the different sitting animations and stuff and you know, all the spaces that you've created for just lounging around mm -hmm. like will be put to good use. Yes, I Shut cannot us. wait. <laughs> shop us for days i know i'm excited for the maji market to eventually come back so that i can fill my cafe with more chapas oh my gosh yeah totally what are some plushies you, you feel like we're missing so far oh well i'm i really only have the ones from the maji market but a big teddy bear would be nice or uh, like an elephant or something, but that's not very Pelion, so I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. It's really hard to say. Maybe I do really want the bumblebee, though. Yeah, maybe they'll come up with something. Mm hmm So and this... then we have like, the master bathroom. Yeah. So I like how in the other room you had a space that was... It, it was your own. It was kind of a study, if you will, and you had... You had an area here, but you can tell this is definitely the the master bathroom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. This is where I you can practice your speeches. Yes, practice all my speeches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think I've seen that wallpaper before. Um, the uh, the sky, the mountains. Oh yes, I forget what it's called. It's like the Maji Mountain something or other. But it's really pretty. I liked it. I felt like the colors were really soothing. 
I like the continuity that you have between the uh, the drapery and the stuff that you have around it. Like you can, t it, it mm -hmm. looks like it is attached. It's probably the best way of. I ran yeah. out of words quickly. Adjectives. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is very, very well done. Very well done space. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to see how people uh, hide them away, but also you have these little secret yeah. areas that just you, you barely have enough room to squeeze by and and yes, hide it as like a whole universe. I love a good little oasis, little hidden spots. I think they're the absolute best. Like you just come around a corner and then it opens up like a whole another world environment. It's just my favorite thing. Yeah. So then this takes us out into the private area of the yard. So for this plot, we have like the cafe entrance out front mm -hmm. and then um, the whole like personal part of the property that is meant for the community is all like fenced in with a privacy fence. Ah, uh, that's cool. Mm hmm. And this is uh, the entrance is over here and I really wanted to have like a super dense forest because I love walking in the woods in real life so I figured it would be really nice to have a good forest yeah there's a the certain certain uh, peacefulness to like a lot of a lot of mm -hmm. wooded areas so this is like the side back entrance Awesome. And I decided to put trash cans and barrels and chest over there by the trash bin. Yeah, as you, you know, have your snacks, yeah. you just drop them off on your way like out. I like it was kind of fitting. And then over here... Guardian choppas. Yes, I love the little choppas. They kind of just help you along the way so you don't get lost. But people still get lost. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's a skill. Yeah. Uh, one of my go ahead. One of my favorite things is the little flower patch area back here. Hmm. I noticed it when I was making the fence, so I figured like the kitsu would be perfect to be in like the little flower patch area. I think it's the only spot on the plot that actually has that. That's really cool. That mm -hmm. is uh, that's a big attention to detail where you have you're like this is. This is something that's naturally in the plot. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Uh, yeah. Use that a part of, as a part of my design. That's really neat. And this is a lot of just kind of stress. You know, this is a lot of the stuff that was uh, missing. You know, when you're when you're popping in on somebody live, like you don't really get the the explanation yeah. and the background and the backstory and some of the some of the places that I've I've been, they have a whole backstory, and I'm like, whoa. You know, role yeah. playing and stuff. I like. I it. wanted. Go ahead. Oh no, um, I was just saying. Like, I wanted it to be very like people could just go wherever they wanted, hang out wherever they wanted, type of thing. Yeah, I like how you set up this little bonfire area. Mm -hmm. Toast, toast the marshmallows. Yes. And, and I like. Little the seating area how you decorated the outside and it's very homestead oh I don't, we didn't i don't think i saw this part this is cool nope just a little outdoor workshop area but i like the little touch that you have for the chair and the lighting that you chose i mean this is kind of it seems uh an in industrial mm -hmm. like very minimalistic this is kind of where where things get made. Yes, I love the things. This is the community hangout spot. Oh yes, yes, I do remember this. This was totally top notch. How you had everything laid out, and I think one of the things that that really really impressed me among lots of other things well first of all got a nice little bar here but this deck this deck is incredible how you have it laid out with the hot tub yeah. 
I originally wanted to extend the deck off of the back of the house, but then I realized I couldn't really place furniture on it. I mean, you kind of can if you angle it right, where it's kind of hanging off your porch a little bit, but um, I just figured it would be better back here. Mm -hmm. So I made it freestanding next to the gazebo. And I think it turned out a lot better than my initial plan. And that's a that's a fantastic point that it's kind of the style of, of gameplay that I have is I let the game's limitations guide my decision making. And mm -hmm. this is a really good example of that, how you initially had something and, and I think it, you know, turned out better than what you originally were thinking of having this kind of standing deck is it's more realistic in a way yes and i think that it looks really well in this space paired next to the gazebo oh yeah the word that i always forget gazebo yeah i always forget gazebo <laughs> i think gondola or pergola oh or something God. yeah so. that's funny oh i'm going the wrong direction Oh, no, we're, you're fine. we're good. And then we just have a little bar up here. I mean, it's like, come on, it's, it's not minimized. It's not a little bar. Yeah, well, it, this was like the last area before I reached the cap on this plot before they increased it. So it doesn't have as much detail as I would like. Ah. I did add a little bit more since you were here last, though. Yeah, I can... I can tell that you've you've added some more things. touches, right? Yeah. But that is essentially pretty much it here. So, I guess, and I, I always like to ask this uh, recently based off of feedback, what would be the coziest place here? You're, oh, I guess mm -hmm. you found it right there. You're just like, yeah. Yep. I like to sit right here because then you can see like the full space. In its uh, entirety. Is this where you sit normally? Yeah, I sit on this spot quite often. <laughs> cool. Well, we've we'll reached our little QA portion, Q and A portion. Um. So, what are what are the things that you? enjoy doing in paleo and i know designing is is one of them but in terms of like in-game activities what are what are some like activities that you enjoy doing in paleo oh so i love to do farming activities with friends mm -hmm. like doing flow farming groups paleo run groups um specifically like cooking parties, cake parties, focus food parties. Um, the thing I enjoy the most is decorating and decorating with friends. Like if they have questions, if they don't know what to do with a space and then being like, hey, can you come take a look at this? Give me suggestions or maybe help me figure something out. And like just vibing off of each other mm -hmm. and creating spaces together, I think is so, so, so much fun. So you you are one of the alien consultants, interior design consultants. <laughs> I mean, for my friends, yes. And I've even helped complete strangers too. But like, I just love to decorate and I like to make people happy and, you know, helping people create a space that makes them happy, makes me happy. That's cool. That's really cool. And, and something, you know, that is valuable, uh, especially if there are spaces that people kind of, I like to call analysis paralysis, you're just like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> they just get that so, block. Put down a and chair, maybe. start with a chair, and then yeah. see where you go. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, so uh, here's, here's some more off the wall questions I like to ask. Uh, in terms of dynamic wallpapers in Paleo, what, which, what is one that you would want to have? Ooh, dynamic wallpaper. Hmm. I would say one that looked 
very, very gothic, very, very Mm -hmm. dark, with crown molding. I think that that would be amazing, and you could create some really nice spaces with that. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally getting into the witchy vibes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Let's, we let's, love a witchy vibe. Let's turn that up to 11 with crown molding. <laughs> Just throw in the yeah. crown molding, you know, gothic. and mm-hmm. That's cool. Especially if you add in little random flashes of lightning in the background because it's storming. Ooh, yes. That would be really, really cool. All right, so it's a Paleon potluck. What are you bringing? Paleon potluck. I would say vegetable soup because I I survived off vegetable soup for the longest time on this game. (laughs) It's all I would ever make for the longest time. I would bring napkins and cups. Okay. (laughs) Cleanliness is key. Yeah, right? Cover our bases. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the... dollar two liters uh <laughs> yeah i guess it goes to show you like my my love of contribution to paleo cooking <laughs> it's fine there's always free spots and we always welcome people into those free spots if they need it yes all right so here's a here's a little question you have a a fresh room like a, a completely blank room, we'll call it a medium size room, right? Okay. And the person wants to do a a living room, mm-hmm. right? In your expertise, where do you start? Uh, creating a focal point. Which would I think be that. which would be what in your in your mind, right? Because I know that. And I'm asking you this question specifically because I know that you have the experience that you have. So you already have this room in your mind. Describe mm-hmm. it for us. I would say putting a fireplace in there. And then I always tell my friends, if you want like a little living room, a um, little cozy space, you know, make a focal point. You want something that the room gravitates around. Mm-hmm. Put a fireplace in there and then you build around that and create the space around that. What color palette would you use? What color palette? Mm. I think it depends on the person's personal preference. Okay. So let's go for the sake of this exercise, your personal preference. My personal preference. Oh my. Um. Hmm. I think it depends on what mood I'm in, but I would maybe try something completely different and new. Maybe try calming blues. Blues. Nice. Mm-hmm. Cool colors. Yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. What specific specific uh, furniture pieces would you include as kind of like a like a base? You know. Hmm. Like what are what are some core foundational furniture pieces would you use? Uh, core pieces, possibly. I don't want to say dragon tide. I would maybe go with some of like the the ranch house furniture hmm. in diet blue. So it's that very soft, cozy, light feeling. Yeah, dragon tide. It's that's almost a given, but. I like mm-hmm. that you went with the other, the other yeah. choice, and then dying it. So cool. Mm-hmm. I it wasn't a test or anything like that. I just wanted to <laughs> kind of see, like, you know, uh, where your mind kind of goes with with those kinds of challenges, and you know, what 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 is your process? And the reason why I asked that too is because people who are in the same boat in terms of just like okay i have this new space like what do i do where do i start right Mm -hmm. and to kind of know what are the options it's almost like a choose your own adventure and to kind of have that that kind of uh thought process i guess is, is helpful for people all right well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's, oh no, thank you for coming. Yeah, it was a, it was an honor to kind of get to hear your side of it. Um, yeah, that's as much as I can uh, ramble and meander around on a live stream. Um, hearing your side of it is really valuable, and I, 
and it's it's kind of cool to like hear your thought process and i think a lot of uh, a lot of people will definitely take notes about this especially just you know knowing uh that it's not just placing things down there's there's a there's an art form to it you know it's more art than science yeah uh, but i will definitely link uh she's a recently minted twitch affiliate i will link her yeah. channel in the description uh definitely go check her out and if you haven't done so already go ahead and like the video comment what you learned from this what are you running home right now and changing which is always kind of a fun thing <laughs> and uh and i'll see you all for the next tour until next time bye bye <laughs>